consumers hang up on Apple's latest iPhone. Joining us right now, we have Noah Kravitz, editor-in-chief of PhoneDog.com, and Brian Marshall, senior analyst at Bleacher & Company. Great to see both of you. Noah, what's your take? Which is the uh, better phone? Well, first of all, no, they're not going to hang up. 600,000 people dealt with broken servers on Apple and AT&T side, both to pre-order iPhone. Uh, I know plenty of people who spent, you know, all day hitting refresh, trying to get their orders in. So, no, nobody's hanging up. That said, <laughs> they, they don't have uh, jobs. you know, uh, well, well, some of them don't now, <laughs> right, yeah. Right. <laughs> but they'll have new phones, yeah. so, you yeah, know, it's, it's that, a win-win. That's what's important. But that said, what's the rest of that uh, sentence? Um, Sorry. That, that said, obviously, you know, like uh, Dennis said, uh, the Android, the Android Army, as they call themselves, is getting you know bigger and stronger every day. The Droid X looks to be—it's actually, I think, more of a competitor this, to the Sprint Evo 4G than to the iPhone per se. Uh, yeah. You know, the, the big elephant in the room here is if Apple opens up the iPhone to Verizon, you know, on January 1st, 2011. Forget about it. Yeah, Brian, I mean, I'm not buying any of this because every time Apple comes into a market, they totally dominate it. Look what happened with the iPod. I mean, I, does Droid have a chance? I think they do have a chance, Melissa. I think the Android is probably the second best platform out there, obviously second to Apple. I think Apple is going to continue with its dominance. Yeah, I'm expecting 40 million units this year, 50 million iPhones next year. So clearly, uh, they're moving quite along uh, at a rapid pace. And I think the new screen on the on the iPhone 4 is just going to be fantastic and and really gain a lot of attention out there. So uh, I don't see any uh, change to Apple's position so what do you anytime think, soon. So you think they have a chance? Uh, yet you like Apple. Do you, would you buy Google here too? I mean, tell us what the investment play is. Yeah. Our, uh, well, just to be uh, clear, I, I don't cover uh, Google. Another analyst at our firm does, but uh, we have a buy rating on Google as well, uh, which implies you know, at least 15% upside in the near term. Me personally, uh, I think that uh, from a smartphone perspective, you know, the, the market's going to be big enough for uh, probably three, <clears throat> three to four different vendors. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, obviously, uh, the lead is going to be Apple. And I don't see that changing anytime soon. I think uh, the most interesting handset out there, second to the iPhone, is probably the HTC Incredible. And yeah. uh, as the other guests pointed out, I think the issue is the carrier networks right now. But looking at that chart we just well, saw there, Noah, is Apple too expensive right now? I mean, it's great products, but you've seen the run that it's had and what it's trading at. Is it too expensive? You know, uh, nobody I know who's bought Apple stock, and, and I'm not a stock analyst, I'm a smartphone guy. Nobody yeah. I know who's bought Apple stock in the past, what, 10 years has, uh, you know, lost money in the long term on mm. it. It just, it keeps going up. And, and you know, I, I think uh, that was a good point. Uh, they both win, right? Apple, yeah. Google, the only people who lose here are the people on Verizon who want an iPhone. Um, but as far as Apple and Maybe Google go, long. they're both making money. Yeah, we'll Maybe see. Maybe not right. for long. Okay, today on Power Lunch, the much an thanks guys, the much anticipated and sought after iPhone 4 hits the stores. Our tech guru, David Pogue, will give us his review of Apple's latest creation. You know, in fact, a grandmother said to me the other day that instead of buying her kid a present, her grandchild, she bought him an Apple share. And then she bought the daughter a Disney ah. share because she said that, you know, the stock share makes so much more sense than the toy in the long run. So there you go. What he said, nobody's ever disappointed. Yes. All right. <laughs> Very good. When we come back, Russia's yeah. president, Dmitry Medvedev, meeting with tech titans in Silicon Valley. Here he comes. We're going to find out what's on his agenda. Plus, Procter & Gamble having a PR nightmare with its Pampers diapers. And this is nothing to poo-poo about. <laughs> I can't believe you had to say that. You are watching CNBC First in Business Worldwide.